Hey guys, it's Kath from Kath Conofolio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this hand-drawn text gif in Procreate. So stick around and let's get started. <laughs> so first turn on animation assist so that what you're making can be turned into a gif. And then go to insert photo and I'm basically just adding every element of the gif that I want in there. These are just screenshots I took on my iPad. So and I'm going to be tracing over them so that they have sort of a hand-drawn look. So I'm just resizing this to be the size that I want. And then I'm going back to insert a photo and I'm doing the first road trip text. Now I'm turning down the opacity so that I can put it on top of the typing bubble so I can make it the same size. So I'm just gonna turn off snapping right there and I'm just resizing it, putting it right on top. Now I'm going to insert another photo and for the let's go text, I want all the letters to show up separately so that it looks like you're typing it. So I just type those out into a message on my iPad and I screenshot it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lasso tool and choose rectangle and I'm going to select all of them and click copy and paste so that they go onto their own layer. And then I'm going to remove it from the initial picture so that all of the text are separated. So now I'm turning down the opacity of all of those so that I can do the same thing I did earlier and just drag them on top of the longest text so that I can make them all the same size. I'm going to turn on magnetics so that they all go down in a straight line. So now I'm swiping right on all of them so I can select all of them and I'm flipping them horizontally so that I can put them on top of the original texts I put in there so that I can resize them again and make them the same size. And then I'm going to move them over and I reflected them again. Now I'm separating the delivered from the text just the same as I did earlier so that it can be on its own layer. Now I'm going to reorder all the texts because when you make a GIF it goes from bottom the bottom layer to the top layer in order so I want it to first show L and then LE and everything and now I'm going to insert another text so that I can add in the red at 1:52 p.m. and I'm just doing the same thing just dragging it on top so that everything is the right size but I only want the delivered part, or the red part, so I'm just taking the text out of it. Now I'm just going to turn the opacity all the way up on everything. So now I'm going to trace over everything. So I'm just turning down the onion skin frames. So I'm just going to trace over every letter, so just turn on the layer that you want to trace and then add a layer and make sure that you're tracing it on a separate layer and not on the layer that the JPEG is on. So if you wanted to, you could just take the background out of these by using the lasso tool, but I want these to sort of look hand drawn and messy, so that's why I'm choosing to trace over them. Now I'm doing the little typing bubbles on another layer. And I'm just going to duplicate that twice and move it down using the magnetics tool. 
Now I'm gonna group all of those because every group shows up as one frame in a GIF. So if you want something to show up at the same time in your GIF, you have to turn it into a group. And so now I'm just gonna trace over every other text and make sure that you trace the text bubble and the text on two separate layers in case you wanna change colors or anything later. You could also do this with the add text tool. If you don't want to hand write it, you can just use actual text so that it looks less messy and not like it's hand drawn. I'm also turning on the top text that says let's go because I want to add the little tail in the text, which isn't like necessary, but I just like the how it looks better. So I trace that on every layer too by just turning on the layer for the let's go text. Make sure that you group all of the texts with their text bubble so that they show up in the same frame in the GIF. Now I'm going to trace over the delivered text. And same thing with red at 152. And then after you trace over everything, you can just delete the JPEG because you don't need that anymore. So I did that while I was tracing over everything, but I forgot those two. So now as you can see, everything is on its own layer. And so when you see the text that say, let's go, the road trip text isn't in the frame anymore. And so now what I'm doing is I'm just duplicating the road trip text a bunch of times and I'm putting individual ones in the groups of all of the let's go texts so that it's like it stays in every frame of the GIF. And now I'm doing the same thing with the final let's go text and I'm putting it in a group with the delivered and the let's go and the red at 152. So now as you can see in every frame the road trip text shows up while you're typing the let's go text. So now I'm just flattening all the layers. I'm just doing that to make it a smaller file size, but you don't have to do that if you want to keep them separate. So now what I'm doing is duplicating the typing bubble a couple times and I made it a different size so that it just sort of like pulses like that, like when you're actually texting someone. And so now I want the delivered and the red to show up for a little longer. And so instead of like slowing down the whole GIF, I just added a few frames so that it would be on the screen a little longer. Now, if you want to add something in the background, I just went to add a photo and just drag it all the way to the bottom and then in the animation panel just check background. So now I want to change the color of the delivered and the red to white so that it shows up easier. So I'm just alpha locking those layers. And I'm just going to draw over them in every layer so that they show up as white so you can see them a lot easier.
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below and check the description for links to my other social media as well as my Etsy where I have more in-depth Procreate tutorials. And make sure you like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Perfect.